Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darwin. Welcome back. This is the channel where I talk about tech that helps you win at life. And today I am talking about something really exciting, a hot water heater. Let's go. So today I'm talking about my brand new hybrid heat pump hot water heater. I know it's not one of those sexy topics, but it's one of those essential tech innovation items that can really help you maximize your savings as well as minimize your electricity usage. Most of you guys know I do have a Tesla solar roof providing a whole bunch of electricity. Well, how am I gonna maximize that solar usage? I gotta start converting appliances to use electricity that I'm generating. I don't wanna just sell that electricity back pennies on the dollar back to the electricity company. So this is why every time a item is about to break or go bad, I'm going to be replacing it with an item that is one energy efficient and one uses electricity so that I can use the electricity that's generating on top of my head on my roof. So one of the items that was still using gas was the hot water heater. I basically wanted to go ahead and make this electric, but I didn't want to up my electricity usage so much that I'm pulling from the grid. So I did a lot of research and the perfect solution is what's called a hybrid heat pump hot water heater. So this is the hot water heater that I got. It's an A.O. Smith heat pump 50 gallon hot water heater. It's an upgrade from our old one, which was a 40 gallon hot water heater. And I wanted to talk about this because getting a system like this is like getting the Tesla of hot water heaters. Now I might know that sounds a little bit dramatic, but hear me out. This heat pump is extremely efficient, it's smart, and it's powered by the sun. And those are some things that it has in common with the Tesla. So the main benefit of this water heater is its efficiency. It uses a heat pump which pulls any heat or humidity in the air or surrounding atmosphere and uses that to heat the water. It's the same type of technology that is put into the new Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Ys, which have recently bumped the range of the vehicles by making cooling and heating more efficient for the thermal battery management and the cabin heating and cooling. So Teslas have heat pumps. My house now has two heat pumps, one on my HVAC system and one on my hot water heater. You can definitely tell it's working because this hot water heater will blow out cold air while it's sucking in humidity and hot air in order to warm the water that's inside the tank. All right, so I just turned this on and this thing is spitting out freezing cold air right here out of this fan. It is freezing cold, like AC cold. Like if I jumped in the car in the middle of the summer, I would want the AC system blowing this cold. So that's why it's so efficient. Now, it's also a really smart system. You can set the temperature digitally and powering it on is as simple as flipping a switch since it's electric. So unlike a natural gas water heater, you don't have to light a match or you know start the pilot or anything like that. You just flip a switch and it's on. The heat pump, which is the element that helps warm the water very efficiently, will work in all weather environments as long as the temperature is above 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything outside that range, it will just use the regular electricity elements, which will draw a little bit more electricity, but it will still warm the water and it'll actually warm the water a lot faster. It should also be noted that this tank itself should be placed either indoors like a basement or protected from the elements like mine, which is under a covered patio. You do not want this in a closet or tight location because it does need the airflow in order to draw warm air in and expel the cold air out. You also don't want this inside a living space because when the heat pump kicks on, it can get quite loud. I would say the ideal location for this unit would be a garage where a lot of water heaters are anyway because the garage is usually hot, it's not air conditioned. So whenever that heat pump is drawing in that hot air and blowing out cold air, it's not only heating the water, but it's also kind of climate controlling your room, giving you a like a source of air conditioning. So one of the features of this hot water heater is that setting the temperature is all digital. You can set the mode of the water heater by a simple click of the button. There's efficient, hybrid, electric, and vacation mode. Efficient mode only uses the heat pump and will take longer to heat the water but maximizes your savings. Hybrid mode is the mode that I just leave it in and it's the default mode. It uses both the heat pump and the heating elements depending on your usage needs. So the, the water heater is gonna decide how much water you need and kick on the electric elements if you need more hot water. Electric only just means it will only use electricity and not turn on the heat pump at all. This means that it will run extremely silent and whatever new water gets put into that tank 
will be warmed up as quickly as possible. And there's vacation mode, which will really turn down the energy usage by maintaining the water in the tank so that it doesn't freeze or damage anything while you are on vacation. So that's pretty much it. It's a water heater. There's really not much else I can talk about. It heats water, and as long as the water is hot, it's doing its job. Where it becomes sexy is how much money it can save you. If I were to estimate, I would say we use between one to two kilowatt hours a day for this water heater now. That's maybe 30 cents a day if you're drawing from the grid, and that would be free if you're generating that energy from the sun, which is what I'm doing. Right now, it's winter, and I'm getting the lowest amount of solar generation I'm going to get all year, which is around 15 to 20 kilowatt hours a day. So just taking two of those kilowatt hours generated from the sun for something so essential like hot water, that's a no-brainer. So as I said at the beginning of the video, it's not really sexy to talk about um, hot water heaters, but it is really appealing to know that my hot water heater is now being powered by the sun, and I'm basically kind of energy independent without having to pay for something like natural gas, which although is a renewable energy resource, it does emit carbon. So I encourage you guys to do your own research and definitely look into getting a hybrid heat pump hot water heater for your next water heater because water heaters have to be replaced over a certain amount of years, so you should be ready for your next replacement. In addition to get ready for that hot water heater, you should get ready for the solar that's going to power that hot water heater by using my Tesla referral code for $100 off your Tesla either solar roof, solar panels, or solar subscription. Right now you can get a solar subscription for $0 out of pocket and Tesla will come install a solar system on your roof with no charge to you. The way that works is they will charge you monthly for the panels being on your roof, but I guarantee you those panels will more than likely pay for themselves and electricity on top of that, thus saving you money. I would say if your energy bill is over $150, $200, or even more, you're using so much electricity that it just makes sense to get some solar panels on your house. I would say it's a no brainer because you're going to maximize the amount of energy you use that was generated by those solar panels. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to ask me any questions that you have in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best that I could. And I'm sorry for the slower rollout in videos. I am a full-time teacher. I have a full-time job right now during distance learning. It's a little bit tough to pump out new content, but I appreciate all my subscribers. I have a new goal. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys can please hit that subscribe button or if you enjoyed any content in the past, Please hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you next time. Peace.